Hi everyone, welcome to Weekly Messages with me, Julie Poole. And if this is your first time here, welcome. And if you like what you see, please subscribe and click the little bell so you don't miss a thing. The cards that I use for the Weekly Messages are the Gilded Tarot and the link is below in the description if you would like to buy your own set. The way that I'm working at the moment with the weekly messages is that I'm doing three cards as a message from your higher self, as a general message for everybody, and then I go into one card for each of the 12 signs, a message a little bit more specific for you. And if you would like something more detailed, please hit me up for a private reading. The details are in the description. All right, let's dive right in. Hello my beautiful people. How are we this first week of April as we go into the second week? So we're going to do the readings the same as I did last week because of time. I have still been ill and I've been trying to catch up with work after having to move all my clients, uh, my therapy, counselling, hypnotherapy, past life regression clients that were all meant to be in last week. Um, but I was in bed with flu, so I've had to move them all to this week. So sorry, guys, but I'm going to have to do the readings the same as I did last week um, because it is far more time effective. Um, but your monthlies will be as normal for May. But I think that your weeklies through April until I've caught up a little bit are going to be like this because the whole thing takes me about an hour and a half as opposed to about 10 hours, which is a huge difference. And I'm sure you understand. Alrighty, so we are looking at three cards for everybody for the overall energy for this week and then we're going to do one card for each of the 12 signs for a more specific message for you and we're going to do it live on camera and we're using the Gilded Tarot as always and these are for messages from your higher self for everybody for the week of the 9th of April 2018. The week of the 9th of April, 2018. <sighs> Alrighty. So, Nine of Wands reversed. That's showing that many of us are very tired and run down about work. There's one poking out. We want, oh, okay, <laughs> saying we are going to be walking away from this and having a fresh start. We'll talk about these cards a bit more in a moment. Let's see what else we got. We want one more card, please. Is that the one? Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Six of Pentacles. So let's have a look at these cards. Let's start off with talking about this nine. The nine of wands reversed. Okay. So the nine. The nine talks about nearly there, nearly there. Keep going. Don't give up. Now, He's upside down. And this is saying for many of us, we're saying to ourselves, I am so tired. I work so hard. Whether this be in your job where you earn your income or whether you're working really hard trying to save a relationship or sort out a relationship or working very hard as a carer, as a home giver. Whatever this means for you, because this is a general read, it's going to mean different things to different people. But there is a real sense deep in your soul of saying, I am so exhausted and I'm not feeling that this is worth it. I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it, all right? So you are feeling, you're coming to that point now, middle of April, as this reading is from the 9th and through up until, what, the 15th? Yeah. So we have got, and we're going to be coming out of Mercury retrograde at the end of this week. Oh, thank goodness for that. And we've got a new moon on the 14th, 15th. So this is lovely. Whole new energy, fresh start. So we've kind of got that last week now of pushing through Mercury retrograde, pushing through until that new moon is going to bring new fresh starts in. But this is asking you to have a really good look within, guys, all right? Where are you really feeling the burden that you can't finish what you started, that it all feels too much? I know for me, I made that decision about 10 days ago, and I'm making massive changes um, on the back of this. So many of you are too. I'll tell you what those changes are in about another week. Week. But anyway, all right, anything else we want to say about this? Yes, your higher self wants you to have a really good look and be aware, all right? We do this, don't we? We just keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. And this card is saying, you know, sometimes you need to stop 
wake up and smell the roses and say, is this good for me? Is this right for me? Maybe I need to make some changes here because I'm running myself into the ground. Mm -hmm. I know this resonates for me. I'm sure it resonates for many of you. All right, so the answer. The answer is this Eight of Cups. This is a card of letting it go, moving on, starting again, starting afresh. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'll let you know about it. Um, now, this moving forward, fresh starts, new horizons, wanting more, saying that. I mean, look at these cups spilt behind him, saying this just isn't working for me. This just isn't working for me and I know it's not working for me and I know that I need, want and deserve more. All right, so we're wanting more. We're wanting to look at different horizons. Look at him looking towards the moon there. And this is interesting. What I'm being given here now is because of this new moon coming in on the 14th. He's looking at that moon towards the end of the week here and saying, I'm going to use this moon to manifest me a new life, to manifest me a new beginning where I'm not so burdened with that nine. I want to manifest something that is healthier for me, better for me, emotionally, mentally, psychologically and physically. I want to really be looking after me. Is my physical body happy with the way that I'm living my life with all that hard work, yeah? Is my mental and emotional body coping with all of that pressure? And if it's not, let's not beat yourself up about it. Let's say, look, we've all got our limits. Maybe it's time to create something new. Now, when we do this, we can come into this Six of Pentacles. This is a lovely card. It's a card of financial abundance and flow. All right, he's weighing his money up there. Let's look at the card together as it comes up on the screen now. So he's really looking at his finances. For us to be able to walk away and start again, we need to make sure there's enough money there to be able to carry us forward. We can't just go quit our jobs and disappear off into the sunset. We've got to make a living, we've got to earn. So let's have a look at how we can do that. So this week, guys, you're being asked to really have a look at where the balance is in your life, where you are overburdened, where you are struggling, and to start looking at making those changes with that eight but make sure you look at the financial flow, make sure there is enough there, all right? So that's the overall energy for everybody. Now we're gonna break it down into the signs, one card for each sign, all right? So I'm gonna put those back in and shuffle them up, okie dokie. So we're gonna start with Aries, first sign of the zodiac. We're looking for a message for Aries, please, for the ninth, all right. Okay, Aries, we've got the Queen of Cups reversed. So let's have a look at this card for you guys. All right, let's just tune into this. What does it mean for you, Aries? The Queen of Cups. Very strong, powerful, uh, feminine energy, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. This is about intuition, trusting your instincts, wanting to... I'm getting that you, I want to dive inside into my inner being, into my instincts, into my intuition. Follow that intuition of what is going to make me happy. Now, <coughs> excuse me. All right, <laughs> that cold still there. Now then. What's going to make her happy? Again, this is part of that overall energy. She's looking at where she is feeling depleted. Maybe some of you have lost that connection with your inner being, your inner voice. So we're wanting to bring this back. So for Aries, I want you to go within. If you can, have a little meditate, a contemplate, a walk in nature. Be open. Ask yourself, how can you get back to your queen energy of flow and power and moving forward? I kind of get the energy with her a bit like a swan just gliding forward. That She's just supremely elegant and oh, the compassion, the gentleness, 
the the sense of the heart with this card loving and gentle so where is that not quite in place and we want to bring it forward all right Aries so have a little look at that for you guys this week hope that helps okie dokie let's put that back in and let's talk to Taurus Taurus you've been going through some significant changes lately and uh, through March and into April how are you feeling pretty depleted or are you bouncing into this new new energy that you have in April I want that one all right we've got the two of swords for you Taurus so let's have a look for this week for you okay we're obviously looking at the blindfold here at the moment you may not be able to see clearly where you're going so this is about working on trust this is what i'm getting for you guys all right so taurus we're working on trust don't worry that you can't see what's around the corner you nobody can okay you can't see around corners your eyes don't bend they only see straight so sometimes we've just got to trust the process and allow each footstep to unfold now i'm getting a a vision here of a car driving through the night with headlights, okay? You can drive hundreds and thousands of miles, but you can only see the first hundred yards in front of you, the hundred meters in front of you that the lights light up. But when you get to that hundred meters, the car light headlights have lit up the next hundred meters. So this is kind of what I feel is going on for you. You can't see far into the future at the moment, but that's all right. We want you to just trust this process. So don't worry that you're blindfolded at the moment. The two of swords is a card of friendships and things coming clear. So I want you to just keep going forward and trust. Okay, guys? All right, Taurus, that's what we've got for you. Let's move on to Gemini. Now, Gemini, you're Mercury-led, and I just said about Mercury coming out of retrograde by the end of the week. Happy days. <laughs> and uh, my moon is in Mercury, so uh, your moon's... Oh, there we go. We want that one. We've got a jumper. Your moon is your emotional self, guys, for those of you who don't know. Okay, we've got the Five of Swords for you guys. So, Gemini, we're on the Five of Swords. This is a card of um, battle. Battle and defeat. Now he's the right way up. So what this means is this is a battle you couldn't have won. You didn't do anything wrong. You haven't failed. You haven't stuffed up. You haven't created drama for the sake of it. This is about basically looking at that area of your life where there has been a bit of a battle, whether it be with your health, your relationships, your romances, or your work, because this is general, I can't be more specific. If you need something more specific, please hit me up uh, for a private read. Okay, so we've had a bit of a battle and conflict going on. Sometimes that does come on the back of Mercury retrograde, okay, that our communication is a little bit bleh. <laughs> what we happens when we have Mercury retrograde. So this battle now is over. By the end of the week, this battle is done. You can pick up your swords. Don't feel defeated and depleted. Just say, do you know what? That was then. This is done. Let's move on. Let's put it behind us and let's have a fresh week next week. Okay, guys? All right, Gemini. Let's move on to Cancer. Cancer, my beautiful, gentle Cancers. What have we got for you this week? Cancer, cancer, cancer. We want that one. All right. Oh, well, you're tired, aren't you? Four of swords. Okay, so this is a card of depletion. He's used three of his four swords. He's almost out of energy. Um, this ties in with that general read at the beginning, doesn't it, guys? That, you know, um, the general read was that nine of wands, which is, I don't know if I can make it. All right, so you are feeling depleted. So this card, the message is so simple and so easy. Rest, 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 rest. Are you any good at resting or do you keep pushing yourself through our rest tomorrow, our rest tomorrow? This card is saying rest now, all right? Now, we've all got to go to work and we've got to earn our living. But when you come home from work, you can just say, right, I'm cancelling everything. I'm putting my feet up. I'm having an early night. I'm having a good rest. Make sure you're sleeping well. Focus on you and your physical health this week, okay? Because when we start getting run down and tired like that, that's when we start picking up all sorts of illnesses and we don't want that, do we, Cancer? All right, darling, so I want you to rest up and I will see you next week. Okie dokie, let's have a look at Leo. What have we got for our Leos? 
Our beautiful lions. Come on, Leo. What have we got for you for the week of the ninth? All right, I'm going to go with this one. All right, the eight of wands. Oh, got a bit of sunshine coming out. Ooh, snowing in Scotland. Mm, April. I know, I know. Mm. Okay, so eight of wands. All right, this is a card of work, career, new projects. Um, look at the sun behind those ones in the distance. This is often a card of travel too, okay? Some of you are going to be going away this week, maybe for the weekend. We are looking at... So there's more information coming through I need to tell you about with this card, Leo. Okay. I want you to be putting yourself at the front of the queue, all right? So... When we've got projects and things at work, very often we can hang back and let other people do them and they get the credit. I'm wanting you to step forward and you to get the credit. So Leo, stepping forward now into this energy because you can drive this forward. Come on, you're Leo the Lion. You can drive this forward and you can be fronting this. You can be driving it and you can be receiving the recognition that you deserve and desire. So have a look at what this means for you this this week Leo let me know and I'll see you next week all right let's move on to Virgos and my fellow Virgos obviously another sign that is the only other sign that is Mercury led oh we've got a jumper all right okay we've got the tower all right, so let's just talk about Mercury coming out of retrograde, Virgo. We're coming out of retrograde on the 15th. We've got the new moon on the 14th. Whole fresh start. So this week, Virgos, we're being asked to look at the tower. This is a card of sweeping change, necessary change. We need this change. So we are looking at this tower and we're saying, what needs to go? What needs to fall away? Look at this. The tower's already cracked. It's already wanting to fall down. There is stuff here around us that isn't working and needs to go. So this is a week we are allowing, and that word is coming in strongly, allowing the changes to take place. We need to allow these changes to come in and take place because on the back of this tower falling down, we can start to drive forward. Ooh, better and exciting. Anything else I want to tell you? No, it's self-explanatory for us Virgos. We are allowing uh, what doesn't serve us to fall away. We are allowing that sweeping change. It's not destructive. It's constructive. We can't construct anything new until we allow the old to fall down and fall away. Think about a building, an old derelict knackered building. We can't build lovely new building on there until we've demolished it, cleared the site. Now we're ready to build something new. So this week is about demolishing, guys. Ready to build the new after the 14th. Mmm, exciting. All righty, let's go on to Librans. All right, my Librans, the negotiators, uh, the relationship gurus. You are so good at relationships, aren't you? Bless. I'd love to have a bit of what you have. As fur goes weird. Mm, a little bit. Mm, not as good as you Libras with relationships. Hence being single for many of us. <laughs> Uh, but we can't help it. We're the critics of the signs. So, Libra, what have we got for you this week, my darlings? I want this one. Oh, okay, judgment. We have the judgment card for you. So, Librans, you're being asked to look at your life and judge it in terms of fairness. Where is the fairness? Where is the balance? All right, I'm feeling here a kind of karmic cycle. Um, let me just dive into the card for you a moment what is this meaning for librans please okay so judgment at work are you being judged fairly are you being um not noticed when you should be are you taking the credit um not being given the credit where you should be given the credit all right i want you to have a really good look at this this week librans because you work so hard and you deserve this recognition and this is a week where that judgment is going to bring up that recognition that you desire and deserve there's a little bit more i need to say on this for you guys let me just stay with the card for a moment okay 
So I'm getting this is very much about you judging your life as well. So this is a week. All right, now when I say judging your life, really having a good look at it with open eyes, not judging critically and harshly, but when we do critical analysis, what that actually means is really drilling down into the detail, looking at the pros and cons, weighing it all up. That's what you're doing this week, guys. Good. All right, so there's a purpose of this. So something's going to come on the back of this after the new moon of the 14th. So this week you are really having a bit of critical analysis, really examining in a very realistic and fair way how your life is working for you so that you can then start to tweak it and make changes where you need to after the 14th. All right, my darlings, I hope that helps give you a little bit of direction for this week. Okay, let's move on to Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, my intense, beautiful Scorpios, what have we got for you? Okay, Scorpio. Well, who'd have thunk it? <laughs> You've got the same message as Libra. All right, now is it exactly the same or do I need to tell you more? Because otherwise you can just rewind and watch Librans. It's a very, very similar message for you guys. You are looking and examining your week, your this week of your life. Okay, but for some of you, you are being judged unfairly. This is can be, for some of you, this is in your partnerships, in your relationships with your significant others. Are they judging you um, and, you know, giving you a hard time? There's some judgment going on here. And for some of you, don't shoot the messenger, but you have messed up, okay? For some of you, you know, we learn, we make mistakes and we learn. So some of you, you have messed up and there's a bit of judgment going on there. You're judging yourself and others are judging you too. That's all right, just take the lesson, take the learning and then let it go. If you need to apologise to yourself or others, do that and then let it go. For others of you, you're being judged very unfairly and you'll know. You'll know which one it is, all right? Because you're you're pretty ruthless with yourself when you need to be in terms of brutally honest, all right? And that's what you need to be this week, guys. Anything else? No, watch the Libra one because they have the same messages a bit more on there too. All right, Scorpio, I hope that helps. Sagittarius. My adventurous, spirited Sagittarians. What have we got for you for the night? One more shuffle. Top card, yeah, top card. All right, what have we got? So we've got the Knight of Pentacles reversed for you guys, Sagittarius. So we're needing to take some action and we're not taking action. Let me just tune into the card for you. I'm really mindful of the green here. Uh, green is grounding. It's the heart center. It's our sense of peace. So for many of you, you're feeling ungrounded, a bit wobbly, a bit shaky. You've lost your inner peace. You're not quite sure what to do, so you're not doing anything. And I'm a, a believer in that. I'm an advocate of that. If in doubt, do nothing, all right? Allow, um, allow your, your thoughts to unfold, which will start directing you where those changes need to be. But at the moment, we're upside down. We're not doing anything because we're not sure what to do. There is action that needs to be taken with this card, but is it a matter of timing and it's not yet? Yeah, it's it's really about the fact you're not quite sure what action to take. So that's okay. While you're not sure, just wait, examine, ponder, meditate, go for a walk in nature, talk to friends, talk to family. Whatever works for you, answers will come as the week pans out. Then you'll start taking some action. But this is to do with your grounding, your stability, your foundation that feels a little bit not right at the moment. Things have changed, all right? When we change, we need to go with the flow and we can be hanging on to what was instead of moving into what is and so things can feel a bit wobbly does that make sense guys I, I hope it does um so we are in a bit of a transition for you Sagittarius we're wanting to move into the new space but we're not quite sure how so we're just sort of hanging around for a moment so that's all right 
But be aware by the end of the week, we do want to turn this the right way around. We want to be taking some action, whether it's just psychological action. So you're aligning yourself in terms of your attitudes, your thoughts and beliefs with, yeah, I'm ready to move forward. Let's go with the flow. I'm feeling in harmony with that now. OK, so allow that to unfold this week. Let me know what it means for you. OK, all right, Sagittarius, take care. See you next week. Alrighty, so we got Capricorn now. Capricorns, Capricorn, another Earth sign. Capricorn, no, another shuffle. Another shuffle for you guys. Capricorn, Capricorn, lovely, lovely Capricorns. All right, and I've got to cut the pack. There we go. Oh, nice. Nine of Pentacles, Capricorns. This is your message for this week. This is the energy around you. She's lovely. Look at her there. She's Miss Independence. She is a strong, financially shrewd, shrewd, financially shrewd lady. Whether you're male or female, this is about she steps into her instincts, her intuition. She follows what feels right for her and she's always right. All right, there's loads of butterflies around here. It's often a card of transformation and change. We've also got this lovely blue energy with her of communication. There's some talking to be done this week, Capricorns. There's some talking to be done. But financially strong and successful, financially secure, feeling that she doesn't need anybody or anything. A lovely space to be and she's the right way up. So it's a lovely flow for you this week, guys. This is looking really good. Anything else I need to tell you about this? Yeah, I want you to really focus on the bird that she's she's taking, you know, the bird's coming onto her hand there. All right, this is about being in harmony with nature, being in harmony with flow and allowing yourself to just trust yourself completely. Uh, I don't know what this means for you specifically because it's a general read, but whatever is going on for you, you're on the right track. Trust the flow. All right, my darlings, I'll see you next week. Take care. All right, let's move on to Aquarius. Our lovely, beautiful Aquarians, how are we? Let's see what we've got for you. Aquarians. All right, guys. All right, we've got the Knight of Wands. Look at all the red here. All right, I'm immediately drawn to the red for you guys. Fiery, passionate, powerful energy. Wands is often about work and career, but I'm not feeling this about you guys this week. I'm feeling this fire in my belly about wanting to move things forward and make some changes. This is heavily coming back to those cards at the beginning in the general bit. Yeah, again, the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Cups moving forward forward leaving stuff behind that night is action taking action really powerful mars energy here coming in i'm being told so we've got here this lovely sense of power and passion and fire in your belly to make changes and wanting to move forward and drive it forward he is firm and strong on his horse He's not taking any nonsense. He knows where he's going and what he wants. And he's pushing forward. This is a real week of driving things forward. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the chariot here for you guys. It really feels, Aquarius, that you are this week of the ninth moving things forward, whatever that means for you, um, in a very strong and powerful way. And I'm, I'm going back to the fire again. Anything that's in the way, just burn it in the fire. Don't let any obstacles stay in your way, all right? Now, not literally. Don't go setting fire to your house. <laughs> hey, your people. But, you know, it's about saying fire is cleansing. It's not just destructive. It is incredibly releasing. We've got this fire energy of driving you forward. And I'm feeling for many of you being released from stuff that's holding you back. It feels a lovely, lovely week, Aquarius. Oh, good stuff. Let me know. All right. Let's move on to Pisces. And my voice is beginning to go. <clears throat> yeah, that flu take its toll. It's gone on my chest a little bit. I've got a lot of clients this week, uh, which I need to, to do. I've not worked for two and a half weeks with my holiday and then the illness. So working very shortly. Another hour. My clients are coming in. All righty. So, Pisces, Pisces, 
What have we got for you, Pisces? Let's. Oh, no, it didn't want to come. It thought about it and then it went, no. These cards, they have their own little language, you know. They do talk to you. I'm doing some um, teaching of tarot on Saturday for some clients online. It'd be lovely. I love teaching tarot. If anybody's interested in having any lessons with me with tarot, do shout. I don't know. There we go. Now, yeah, see, they take their time. Okay, Queen of Cups. We had this for another sign. Who was that? I can't recall. Might be worth you rewinding and looking through but what is the queen of cups meaning for you pisces oh i'm feeling uh, oh this is lovely all right so i'm just tuning into the car for you i'm really mindful of the way that she is looking look at her looking into the horizon and look how serene she is cups is emotions and happiness and the queen is oh she's she's strong and independent she knows where she's going she knows what she wants she's holding her cup there she's i almost feel like this is a toasting a celebrating pisces this is lovely we are looking forward here as in forward in time we're looking at where i'm going i feel almost like i've got blinkers on looking into the future and i can see exactly where i'm going um this is you setting goals for the rest of the year and into next year it feels a very calm week it feels a very serene week look at the water around her beautiful gentle water um there are some clouds on the horizon here I'm drawn to, but you can just push those out of the way. There's nothing going to bother you. Might be a few little clouds and a few little mm, wobbles, but yeah, you're just going to move straight through that and out the other side. Anything else I want to say about this card? I'm feeling a connection here as well with others. So you're not doing this on your own. You're wanting to take people with you into this a uh, new horizon that you're looking at. You are, uh, you're not leaving everything behind. You know, the beginning of the, the messages for the week here was all about letting go and moving forward. You're taking a lot of that stuff with you, moving into a better space, taking what you need and leaving what you don't need. It's a very lovely energy for you this week, Pisces. Good stuff. All right, my darlings, I hope that has helped. Namaste and I will see you next week for more messages from your higher self. Take care, lots of love. Bye.